How do you know when compost is done? It's a good question. It's an eternal question in composting. I'm Justin with Veteran Compost. I'm going to tell you how we do it here, and that may apply in your backyard as well. Number one would be temperature. So our piles get to 140 degrees, up to 160 degrees Fahrenheit for several weeks while things break down. We use an aerated static pile system, allows things to have lots of oxygen, get really hot and break down, and then cool down. So this material behind me, it's steaming because it's 34 degrees Fahrenheit here today, but this pile has now cooled down to about 110 degrees Fahrenheit. So we've gone from thermophilic, which is 140 degrees, roughly 130, uh, down to 110 mesophilic. So we know that this pile has kind of gotten hot and is now on the downslide of, of cooling down. So it's ready to get moved up the hill uh, and be screened and, and finally cured. Other than temperature, the next thing would be time. This pile we built um, 12 weeks ago. So we know based on our production schedule, if it has at least four weeks of aeration, we know it's usually good to go. Uh, in this case, it, we had a little bit of slack in production because of the holidays, so it actually spent closer to eight weeks on aeration. So we know just by time spent composting that it's, it's ready to go. And then the third thing is really your senses. So that wasn't a T, the other two things were a T. I don't have a good acronym, um, but really the third thing would be, well, what, what do your senses tell you? This doesn't look like what we started with. This doesn't look like food anymore. It doesn't look like what we had. It looks like an earthy kind of mulchy wood chip. So if we look at it to the eyeball, it doesn't look like what we started with. If we give it a smell, it has an earthy smell to it. So I, I like to use my nose a lot. Um, if I was to smell something maybe a little bit more ammonia or something more putrid, that maybe would let me know that maybe it wasn't done breaking down or it needed to be stirred more. Um, in this case, what we do is we go from this area where we actively compost it up the hill to be screened and we build it in a windrow where it actually spends a couple days before screening. So if there was any pocket of material that had an issue, just mixing it that last little bit and giving it a few more days allows it to really be a good homogenous mix of material. So how do we know compost is done? Number one, what's the temperature? Has it cooled down if we had a hot compost pile to start? Number two, um, the time, how long has it been breaking down? In our system, we look four to eight weeks in a backyard, you know, might be several months. And then number three is it doesn't look or smell like what it started like. So this isn't food anymore. This is an earthy material. So those are the three things we use to know. Now we're done. It's ready to screen and to cure. So this compost is well on its way to be back in a bag or the back of a dump truck out to someone's garden. There you go.